Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, I want to finish up the discussion about the terrain following features of the Mavic 3 Enterprise by covering how to create a more detailed and up to date digital service model, DSM, by creating your own DSM. This will allow you to perform lower level flights than the 80 meter minimum recommended by the real time follow options that are available on the drone. To do this, we're going to use a system called WebODM. WebODM is a cheaper alternative to the DJI Terra system, and while it doesn't have the feature set that Terra has, it does have the advantage of being free. Ironically, to create an up-to-date DSM for your flight, the first thing you will need to do is to create a map of the area by flying over it. The good thing is that you can generate a DSM from a flight that might be higher than you wish to fly, and that's what we did previously. If you've not already watched the first video covering terrain follow, I suggest you start there. In that video, you'll see that we captured an area at 300 feet and used the real time follow option. We're going to use the output from that to generate our DSM. I won't cover installing WebODM here, as I've covered that in other videos, and there are plenty of tutorials available, so I'm going to assume you have WebODM ready to use. Create a new project and import the images from your previous flight for processing. By default, WebODM processes at an accuracy of 5 centimeters, but on a map of any size, that's going to create a very large file, and the Pilot 2 app limits the file size you can import. So before we start, I'm going to be going into the details and change the DEM resolution field to 1000. This will give us a centimeter per pixel of 10 meters. This should be sufficient for our needs here, but you could reduce that number if you needed higher resolution. Now process your map in the usual way. Once the map is ready, open the project, click on download assets and select surface model. And this part is crucial. Change the drop down to lat long EPSG 4326. This is the coordinate system that the Pilot 2 app is expecting and anything else is going to cause it to not place the map in the right place. Leave the format as GeoTIFF RAW. And now we can copy this onto an SD card, which we will take over to the RC Pro controller. I'm going to create a new map and start from the KMZ that we brought over previously. Import the KMZ. Choose area root. And then we can edit our map. And because we brought in a KMZ rather than a KML, the area root name defaults to doc. So a little pro tip is always bring over a KML. It'll name your files appropriately. Now we scroll down, change the altitude mode to AGL as before. And then again, select on reselect. But this time, instead of clicking download from the internet, we're going to click import. Navigate to where the file is on your SD card and import the TIFF file. And straight away, you can see that we have a very similar situation to our previous import, which is showing you the altitudes that we've captured. You'll see that there's a yellow dashed line around the outline of the map, and this is the area that is the maximum that you can map to. If you try to create a map outside that area, it's going to give you an error. If we again download from the internet, you can actually load both files and you can compare them side by side. I think you'll see that the results are actually quite similar. It's not too surprising because this area hasn't changed much. But the file that we created has more detail in it and is more up to date. And that's it. I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.